TV, Zimex TV, Zimbabwe leading trend gossip TV. Remember, guys, to like, share, comment, and follow, and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload on this channel each and every day, each and every hour. Today is the 24th of our July at 2022. So, we continue following uh, this whole issue of Susan Mutami. And uh, yes, so uh, Australia based uh, Zimbabwean uh, socialite uh, Susan Mutami on Friday repeated her claims that she was sexually abused by President Emma Somina several times from the time she was only 15 and in form 3. Mutami further claimed she was sexually abused by Mnangagwa's political ally Owen Muda Ngube. She narrated the claims of abuse by Mnangagwa mainly in Shona in a four-hour Twitter spaces that she hosted on Friday. Twitter Spaces is a feature on the microblogging site that allows users to have a live open and unfiltered audio discussions or in a, in every other topic conversation. It was listened by more than 13,000 audience members, an audience enough to fill an average uh, small stadium in Zimbabwe, such as White City, uh, Sakuva or Mucheke, reported the news hawks. Mutami said Amit Nangagwa uh, during a sports gala where he was a guest of honor, he was driving a green jeep and greeted me as his niece. I don't want to humiliate him, so I played alone. He then said, When you close schools, come to the party office and see me. Just say you want to see Sekuru when you get there. Mutami said she did not visit him during those holidays, only to later meet him by chance. She said, In 2004, when I was in Form 3, I bumped into him again at Wimpy in Kwekwe. He asked why I didn't come to see him. He went further to ask if my fees had been paid in full view of all people who were there. He gave me $2 million in barrier checks, which at the time was what teachers were earning. He was in the company of his long-serving aide, Temias Shumba. The next time that I met him, he was in a car and he showed me his privates and asked me if I knew what it was. He said, Chinozi Chinu Chadedi, this is daddy stuff. We were in the car, he used to drive himself, so he asked me to touch his penis. It was the third time I was meeting him. In 2004, during the second term holidays, we bumped into each other again. Those who know Mnangagwa know that he used to hang out at Golden Mile Hotel with the likes of July Moyo. He took me to Golden Mile Hotel. I was so innocent at the time and did not think he would do anything to harm me. That is when he slept with me. I did not tell anyone. He actually raped me because I did not consent to it. He insisted that he would only do it once or twice. He did exactly that and the next thing I had blood all over. He said you are now a grown woman. You can no longer play with boys because you fall pregnant. Mutami said she didn't speak about the abuse for many years as she feared being judged and retribution. She said all of Nangagwa's colleagues like July Moyo and security aides knew of the abuse. Mutami said that when her father died in a car accident on May 24, 2005, when she was in Form 4, she said her mother then enrolled at Morganstar to upgrade her nursing qualification while her siblings enrolled at boarding schools. Now that she was left alone, Nangagwa offered to pay her fees and asked her to move to his Sherwood farm in Kwekwe, she claimed. Mutami said at the farm, Nangagwa continued to sexually abuse her, although he was allegedly also in a sexual relationship with his accountant who was also staying at the farm. She said, First Lady Auxilam Nangagwa did not like the fact that ED was helping me with school fees and I didn't tell her that there was something going on. So she was so mean and rude. One day she spilled water into the bed where I slept with the maid at 2 a.m. and she asked us to wake up and clean the house. At the time we woke up and do that with the maid. She once beat me up asking who between ED and Shumba is aid I was sleeping with. I was in so much fear and I could not say anything. She brought out a gun and told me that she was once a CIO and could kill me. I was only 16. Mutami said the sexual abuse continued even after she had left the country for Australia. She said, whenever I came back from Australia, ED would book me at Miku's. The first time upon my return, he wanted to sleep with me. I asked for protection because of the grave vine of his HIV infection. He left the room unhappy after asking me where I got the audacity to ask him for protection. Contact for comment by the news hawks on these vicious and serious allegations. 
presidential spokesperson Joe Charamba said this was a mere gossip. Charamba said, we don't deal with rumors at the present office. I have nothing more to hide. And so guys, that's the latest here. Yeah, it was a four hour, four hour um, clip on Twitter. And even today, many people on my streets, they are still talking a lot about it. Do you believe it or not? But it's all in the comment section. Uh, this is um, Zemix TV Hub for the communities. And yeah, so uh, one lesson that I learned from this is that um you know girl child yeah girl child uh there are men out there there are people out there who always want to take advantage you need to use your hands shandira yes that's the main main thing about this you must know kuti parare apana chema hara apana chino ya Apana chino ya waka gara, waka fumata mawoko. Ashpire mushi. And you need to work with your hands. You need to learn how to use your hands so that you can work. Things at the time, kunurima, kutase, kutase. You need to be open-minded. Don't just think with murume, asha kuigira mari, murume, asha kuigira everything. I depend on this person. You know, what it is kwa marufa, buda masiso kutote, ah, daso mwana murume uya, anundi, Life and I show it here, and yeah, no, there's nothing like that. Because if you look closely on most of these cases, whereby uh, in the abuse, why in the gatwa say, the gatwa say, it's because of money. Munanga artists were married, and I'm gonna a powerful person who battled the act, Jango Zaita, Akuna Jagadaro. Nothing will come easy, and yeah, so this is a great lesson from this, whether it's true or not. But Yangori Punya Yanguti, uh, Vanukazia, Msangum Kara, Msangara Moko, Jungoti, our roommate, this, our roommate, that Naga abuse, or he whatsoever. You guys, you need to wake up with our Panachino Makagara. Yes, Kurana Nenu Kutsi, as you know, Kuti, you are so powerful, you can control a man or whatsoever. Cannot, if I do this, there's no one's a good abo, a Puna Jagadaro. You need to wake up, pause, Piper. This is a uh, Zimex TV hub for the communities. Whether it's true or false, but the main thing is that Apana Chino Yawagara, Parada Apana Chamara. That is all in the comment section. Remember to like, share, comment, and follow. Bless up.